Hi, in this video you're gonna see how to translate a file using WordFast Classic. First of all, you need to select or create a translation memory. A translation memory is a file in which the sentences you translate are stored in order to be reused or consulted in the future to translate similar or identical sentences. To select or create a translation memory, click on the last icon of the WordFast toolbar or press ctrl Alt w to open WordFast settings. In the window that opens, in the TM tab, you find two buttons, one to select an existing translation memory from your disk and the other to create a new one. When you click the Create New TM button, you're prompted to provide an ISO-based code corresponding to the source language of your translation memory. Some examples of codes are provided, and a more complete list can be found in the user's manual. In this demonstration, I'm going to translate a text from American English into Brazilian Portuguese. Therefore, I click OK or press Enter, provide the code for American English here, and, when prompted for a target language code, I provide the one for Brazilian Portuguese. The translation memory file is created and you need to name and save it. WordFast translation memories are saved as plain text files. Then, to begin your translation, you click the first WordFast toolbar button or press Alt down arrow. WordFast recommends that you work in draft view. You may accept it or not. The first source segment then appears against a blue background and you must type your translation in the lower box and nowhere else. After translating the segment, you press the same shortcut again, Alt down arrow. Note that the translated segments are delimited by these purple markers they should never be deleted or edited. The most basic procedure, and the one you probably repeat most of the time, is this, to translate each segment and press Alt down arrow to go to the next one. This way, you reduce the risk of skipping sentences, for example. And it's also more comfortable to work like that, having source and target sentences together at the center of your screen. Moreover, every time you press Alt down arrow, the translated sentence is sent to your translation memory, and for every new segment, WordFast searches the TM for similar or identical segments. When it finds a similar segment in your TM, WordFast displays its translation like this, on a yellow background to indicate that it's a partial match, also called fuzzy match. If it were an exact match, that is, an identical segment from the translation memory, its translation would be displayed on a green background. The match percentage is displayed in the purple delimiters. Here we have an 89% match. If you want to view the translation memory content related to this match, just press Ctrl Alt M to display it above the current segment. The differences between the TM match and the current segment are then highlighted. The same shortcut is used to both display and hide such information. You can edit the TM match as needed and press Alt down arrow to continue your translation. If you need to make a break, before closing the document, you have to close the segment by pressing Alt End or clicking the corresponding toolbar button. To resume a translation session, you can click on a segment and press Alt Down Arrow as usual, or you can use Alt Home to reopen the segment that was last closed. Here you see a 97% fuzzy match. and then two exact matches displayed on a green background. When the entire document has been translated, it can be revised 
proofread, spell-checked, post-edited. When revision is complete, to remove all the limiters and source segments, open WordFast window with Ctrl W. Click the Tools tab. Select the translated document on the list and click the Clean Up button. A Clean Up report is displayed and the document is cleaned up. It now contains only your translation with the same formatting and structure as the source file.